Hi ladies, Mama Tony here again from Brown Bag Parties. Today I want to talk to you about soy candles. You know, when I started doing parties, I thought, candles, really? Well, let me tell you about them. Number one, they're non-toxic. You can have your windows shut and burn them all day long. Not like those candles you get at the 99 or the Jesus ones. You better open your windows because it's burning toxic crap in your house all day long. Number two, ours burn for over 50 hours. 50, five, zero. And the best thing is, they burn at 105 degrees. So, they make a wonderful massage oil. You blow it out first. Always remember to blow it out. Very important, always blow before you massage. And you pour it right on your partner's back, tummy, wherever you want, and ooh, is that nice. And I wish that we had smell-o-vision. You know like the old Divine movies you could scratch and sniff? Because these are delicious. They come in like five different scents. I've got um, Spiced Pear, Love Spell, Butt Naked. Uh, I got a bunch of them, but I got to think about it. But the other thing I wanted to tell you about these is I like to pair them up with the Hearts of Fire. This is my favorite. Not only does 50 cents on every sale go to the ASPCA, my gay dog loves that, but they are, um, it's like a portable little heating pad. It starts out feeling like the boob insert, you know, but there's a little metal disc in it, and you just snap it to activate it. Come on, baby. And there it goes. It's getting really, really hot now. It stays hot, I'd say, for about a good 20 minutes and um, warm for an hour or so. So I call them from cramping to camping. They are so nice and warm. You got cramps, pop a heart, stick it right on your ovary. Fabulous. I send the kids camping with them. I put one in the top of the sleeping bag, one in the bottom. Um, there, if your baby has an earache, don't put it on hot. Wait for it to cool a little bit and then put it on his little ear or toothache. But the fun thing is, is the sensual massage. You put your um, wax from the oil on and then use the hearts of fire. I am telling you, there is nothing better than that. I wish you could feel it. Delicious. Soy candle teamed up with the hearts of fire. Absolutely fabulous. Yay! Really food in the house, Mom? It's not dinner time yet. I swear to God, it's got to be happy hour somewhere. Ooh, ooh, I almost forgot to tell you. The hearts of fire are not a one-shot deal. You can reactivate them. You get a pot of water, put it on your stove, bring it to a boil. Take a dish towel and wrap it around the hearts because it can't touch metal. Drop it in, set your timer for 13 minutes, take it out, and as soon as it cools down, it's good to go again. And only cook one heart at a time because of the metal disc. You don't want them hitting each other. They'll fight in there. So cook them, hundreds of uses. Yay!